Hello, and welcome to another episode of the VM Blog Expert Interview Series. And today we're joined by Daniel Spoonhauer, the, the co-founder and CTO of LightStep. Welcome, Daniel. It's great to have you. Yeah, it's great to be here. So for those viewers who are watching us today that may not know, you know, a much or a lot about what you guys do, who you are, can you start off by just giving us a, a little bit of uh, background on LightStep and then maybe talk about some of the problems that you solve? Yeah, absolutely. So um, LightStep is an application performance monitoring tool. We solve a lot of the same kinds of problems that APM tools have been talking about for a long time, but we're really focused on, on folks that are building with microservices and other modern architectures. Um, so it's really about understanding the performance of those applications as perceived by users and then being able to map that performance back to you know services, infrastructure, all the pieces that kind of go into it to help folks either understand just service health generally or you know in the case of an incident or, or something going wrong, figure out how they can quickly mitigate and resolve those. And then how does, uh, you know, your company, we have a, a huge increase in this year and, and more next year with Kubernetes. Uh, how does the rise of Kubernetes contribute to, to this uh, additional complexity? Yeah, so um, I, I, Kubernetes is great. We use Kubernetes internally. Um, for, we've used it for a long time. Um, and to me, it's really, it's like one of many tools that let you make more changes into your production environments, right? It, it, builds up this level of abstraction, um, which is great on one hand, but every one of those changes brings some risk to it, right? And it's not only, you know, the individual components, but the interactions and the connections between those components as well, right? So uh, again, I think it's a cool, a great tool. Like I, we really enjoy using it. Um, and I think it brings us a lot of a benefit, but it's really, I think, important to complement tools like Kubernetes with other tools that help you understand actually what's happening as you're making all these changes. And then why is LightStep uniquely situated to help teams understand their Kubernetes environments at scale? Yeah, so, um, you know, LightStep is, um, our basis really goes, our, our foundation really goes back to distributed tracing. Um, that was some of the technology that we worked on at, at Google, um, one of the other co-founders and I. And we took what we learned at Google about how folks were building, um, not, we didn't call them microservices then, but the same kind of idea where you have these um, loosely coupled systems. Um, and we tried to apply those lessons. So what distributed tracing really does is it allows you to see these connections between different services. Um, and then, you know, LightStep uses that as, as part of its analysis and, and understanding how those changes are impacting users. Um, because there's lots of things changing all the time. There's lots of things going wrong all the time. Most of those things are fine, right? Uh, and it's really being able to isolate the ones that are actually having a negative impact on users. And then I recently read that LightStep is processing something like over a trillion events every single day for their customers. Uh, if you would, could you talk about, you know, uh, how you're handling and processing that much data? Yeah, I mean, maybe first just like why that's important, right? Um, I think um, the thing that's tricky about, about uh, you know, whether you call it APM or, or, or now like we're calling it observability, there's a lot of data there. and. Like I said, the things are changing, things are going around all the time. Most of that data is actually kind of boring, right? Hopefully most of those are, you know, request 200, okay. Um, so it's really about finding the sort of needles in that haystack. So what we do is we, at LightStep, we collect 100% of this telemetry from applications. We don't do any upfront sampling. And that allows us to make sure that we see these rare errors when they occur, or even just to understand the behavior of um, say a 1% experiment or a 1% rollout or something like that. Um, the way that we actually handle that in the end is by um, we've built a custom pipeline that's really meant for this kind of observability data for this telemetry. Um, and it has a couple of important and interesting feedback loops kind of built into it where um, the software can actually recognize uh, sort of what makes an event interesting or unique or what might represent a change. And it can vary the way that we collect and process and store that data based upon that. So like a simple example is just like when LightStep recognizes that you're doing a, a release, like we turn up the volume because we want to both get a good sample and understand what's happening for the new release, but also for the old release as well, right? So we can make a, um, make a good comparison between what's the two different versions of the software. And I always tell people I'm a, a visual guy. So uh, is there any way we can take a look at the product and, and can you give us a quick glance at what it looks like for an engineer to jump into LightStep in order to better understand their Kubernetes applications. Yeah, absolutely. Let me let me share my screen here. 
Okay, can you see that? Yep. All right. So yeah, when folks drop into LightStep, this is something what, that they might see. Um, you know, we're trying to give them a view of their whole application. There's a, you know, a bunch of different services. We're trying to, um, you know, we're, we're flexible in the kinds of data we can ingest, but we try to be opinionated about best practices. So, you know, monitoring things like um, latency, error rate, request rate overall. Um, and kind of what I just wanted to walk through here is just, you know, looking at, you know, say one of these particular um, API calls as sort of um, perceived by a mobile app. Um, so we're collecting data not just from the backends, but also from things like uh, f from apps and from you know um, web apps as well. Um, and you know, of course, we're we're doing sort of best practices in terms of how we um, monitor latency and things like that. One of the things that LightStep lets you do is it lets you really dig in and try and understand what's happening there. Um, so if I if I kind of jump further in here. Um, what this screen shows is sort of um, we're looking at again this one particular um, endpoint the, and the performance of that over you know the, the last couple of minutes and trying to really get a sense of what's happening here. So LightStep's actually taking that and analyzing. Um, it looks like tens of thousands of of requests here and trying to to call out what are sort of important parts of those requests. Not only just the data that we're receiving from the mobile app, but all the way down the stack. Um, and again, focusing on services that are actually participating in these transactions. And I guess one of the things I just wanted to call out here is, you know, we're doing an analysis, an automated analysis to try and understand where, you know, what what kinds of um, tags or, or labels or other annotations are indicative of, of things being slow. And, and one of the things that's um, coming up here is that the one of the services further down the stack that's running um, a particular pod actually um, seems to be pretty highly correlated with some of the slower requests. Um, so this is a way for users to kind of be able to, <clears throat> I guess, quickly understand what are the different factors that might be contributing to performance. And of course, you know, they can dig um, way in and with LightStep and you can see an individual um, trace here. Again, representing a transaction as it passes through all the different services, um, and you know, there's a lot of different kinds of information we can present here. But again, you know, this this again, you know, this looks like two or three levels down the stack from from where uh, from where you know a, a web app or where a mobile app would see this, and, and we can actually you know understand how the infrastructure is also affecting performance in that case as well. Well, great. Uh, thanks for showing us that uh, that quick demo and overview. Uh, as we wrap things up. Where can viewers go if they want to learn more information about any of the things that we've talked about today or the things that you've shown? Yeah, um, you know, you can go to lightstep.com. Um, if you want to learn more about distributed tracing in general, um, we, uh, I'm one of the authors of a O'Reilly book on distributed tracing in practice, and Lightstep's actually making electronic copies of that free for download. Um, we also have what we call a sandbox, which is a sort of pre-populated environment. So you don't need to send any of your own data. You can actually walk through some scenarios and, and sort of test your skills using a tool like LightStep. And of course, we have a, a community plan as well, where folks can get started for free and, and send their own data and, and understand how LightStep can help. Yeah, that's great. All right. Definitely. And uh, we'll, we'll try to, if we get some links, put, uh, put those in down in the, in the show notes so that people can, uh, can give it a try. Cool. All right. Well, thanks for taking time out to speak with us today at VM Blog, and uh, look forward to learning more and seeing what you guys are up to in the next, you know, couple of months. Yep. Great. Thanks for having me. All right.